What's up, everybody? Now, I don't know what else to do, but I decided to um show you my DreamWorks DVD and Blu-ray collection. Well, I'm not going to show you every single DreamWorks films on DVD and Blu-ray. I'm just going to show you some of my favorites. I think it's like based off my top 10. If you have not seen the video called Top 10, my favorite DreamWorks film, uh, check it out. Like these are for my top 10, like my favorite DreamWorks films. And this is basically that, like showing you like those are like my favorite DreamWorks films to watch. And sometimes I like to have a DreamWorks day where I get to watch some of my favorite DreamWorks films. I know I did that back in 2019 when I used to do at the um, Greek Easter at my cousin's house. I bought some of the DVDs and I was watching them. And everything has to be from DreamWorks. You can check out the playlist if you want to, what I've been watching. So we're going to get started. Before I show you all these animated stuff, I'm going to show you this one live action film I like to watch all the time. Here we go. Castaway, Tom Hanks, a Robert Zdenekis film. Now this movie is also by 20th Century Fox. It's also by the the Zdenekis, the train movies thingy, that logo. But anyways, this is my favorite Tom Hanks live action film. And... I really love this film. I watch this movie all the time. One of my favorite movies. Anyways. He's a spine. The back here. And says. A rigid adventure. Of body. And, or body. I think it says body. No body. Body. And spirit. TV and the pole. Discovered the uh, honors of journey of hope, courage, and essential <clears throat> includes a commentary from a director, Robert Stenekis. So yeah, I absolutely loved this film. I saw this movie so many times. I first watched this movie back in 2016 on my iPad on the full movie online so yeah I've seen this movie so many times anyways here's the disc the movie also stars Helen Hunt but yeah Castaway is a classic really love Castaway Second, it has a nice soundtrack as well, and a nice story. Yeah, sorry about that. Let me just just put him back on the shelf. Sorry about that. Now we can get to um, the animated ones. Now, like some of my favorites, I like to watch. Here we go. First up is my favorite DreamWorks film is a no-brainer. Shrek. Now this is the um, 2010 DVD of it. 
spine, back. The party continues, more Shrek than ever before. Extended ending. And it has all these fantastic bonus features. Shrek is one of my childhood movies. Oh man, Donkey's my favorite character. Oh man, Donkey's my hero. What are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> Very funny. Here's the disc. What can I say about the movie? Shrek is an awesome movie. You know, it stars Mike Myers, Eddie Murphy, Karen Diaz, and John Lithgow. And I believe Gingy is voiced by one of the directors of the film, which, which was brilliant. I got this at JB High Five back in 2014. Or was it 2015? 2014 or 2015? Maybe it was 2015 I got this. Along as with the other two DreamWorks films. I believe I got it in 2015. But yeah, Shrek is an awesome movie. I talked about Shrek so many times, so I don't need to talk about it all day. But yeah. Hold on a sec. Let's move on. Next we have a short film. It is... Shrek 3D. You can see Shrek is wearing 3D glasses. I no longer have 3D glasses. I have it somewhere, but I think I lost it. But yeah. Anyways, it's the spine. Back. The rescue adventure. Four 3D glasses inside. See the adventures lap from the screen. So anyways, this used to be on 4D at Universal Studios and Movie World from Warner Brothers, but not anymore. I got this from eBay, and this was like my first DVD I ever got from eBay. Also, it is now called The Ghost of Lord Farquaad, but yeah. Here's the disc, you can see Shrek and Donkey wearing 3D glasses with an all new adventure. So our story continues. So this came out next before the sequel came out. But yeah, it's an awesome short film. Very awesome. Um, let's see. I don't know where to put it. I have an idea. Hold on. Don't worry. We'll come back to that. Now moving on to the sequels. Next is, um, Shrek 2. This is also a 2010 DVD. Anyways, this is the spine. The back, I, I can't read, it's so hard to see. Let me read for a minute. I can't read. Sona, under the fun. A surprise from start to end. Son of Mill. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't I couldn't read from far away. It's hard to read. Because it was a small critic review. And I can't read. Sorry, let me read again. A, G, a genius piece of entertainment. Voice of her. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I couldn't I can't see the I can't see the words far away. Surprise ending. Far, far, my idol consists exclusively for the DVD. Your favorite characters. Um, what is this? Oh, battle it out in this hilarious spoof. 
Pacinga's showdown. Um, what's this? With 11 hit songs. You vote for your favorite character. Yeah, on the DVD version, you can choose who you want to win. But yeah. I do love this sequel, but I still prefer the first one. We all know it's the first Shrek film to have Puss in Boots. He's voiced by Petonia Banderas. So yeah. Got the disc over there. For the previews on there. It has Shark Tail trailer, then it has Madagascar sneak peek, and that's about it. Yeah, it, it's a great sequel. But I still prefer the first one, but it's still a great sequel. Hold on a sec. Yeah, another one of my childhood movies that I used to watch all the time. I know it's a lot of people's favorite Shrek film, but I have to disagree. The first one's my favorite. Let me know if you agree with me that the first one's also your favorite. Let me know. Next is um the last good Shrek movie. Don't judge me, but next we have Shrek the Third, which was also from the 2010 DVD. Shrek 2 and Shrek the 3rd. These are the two sequels I got at the same time at JB High Five at night time. So I got it at the same time. If you're wondering. And I actually loved Shrek the 3rd. I don't care what anyone says. I used to watch Shrek the 3rd. It was part of my nostalgia memories. For some reason I loved Shrek the 3rd for some reason. It's actually a great sequel. It's an awesome sequel, by the way. It's fine. Back. The biggest comedy of the year. You have tons of great bonus features. Stars Justin Timberlake. Who voices Artie. And. I know he's an annoying sidekick, but. I, I like him. I liked him if he would. I would like him if he was turning in Shrek 5. That would be awesome. If they actually made a Shrek 5, I think he should return. That'd be awesome. Oh yeah, you got Baby Ogres. I used to call them Baby Shreks, but I no longer call them Baby Shreks. But yeah. Got the disc over there. So yeah, that's Shrek the Third. I no longer have Shrek Forever After on DVD. You're probably wondering, if you had Shrek Forever After, then why do you have it on DVD? Well, I don't have it anymore. I put this in the trash bin where it belongs. And one word about Shrek Forever After, never again. And I think some of the holiday specials were okay, but let's not talk about them. But yeah, Shrek the Third's awesome. This shouldn't have stayed as a trilogy. It should have ended at, you know, Shrek the Third. And then you have an amazing franchise. It shouldn't have ended at Shrek the Third to me. I think Shrek the Third did a much better ending. Say what you want about me, but I actually love Shrek the Third. Shrek the Third has so many funny moments. I can love Shrek the Third wherever I want. And I'd rather watch Shrek the Third than Shrek Forever After. Let's move on. I don't want to do a hobble rant again, but yeah. Let's move on. Oh, here comes my second favorite DreamWorks film. I was obsessed with it. I don't care how old I am. I love this movie so much. I'm attached to it. I love it. It is 
Bum 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 and Justin Timberlake. It also, star, it also stars James Corden, I think his name is, and Gwen Stefani. I did see this movie in theaters back in 2016 at Reading Cinemas with my mom. It was like after the last day of school during Christmas time. It was after when I went to see Scene earlier, and I did not care about the movie Scene. I'll talk about it in a different video, but, you know, I'm, I wasn't a fan of seeing, but I'll talk about it in a different video. But yeah, but Charles is an awesome movie. I was always a fan of this movie. It's always been one of my favorite animated movies of all time. Probably my favorite movie from 2016. It's The Spine. In the back it says, Just Incredible, um, what's this? Richard... Williams, New nice New York, feel good family fun. Um, Jason David, Channel Seven, Weekend Sunrise. They have have the, all these fantastic bonus features over there. I met some people that love this movie. Uh, the teacher Kay and her daughter, they both love this movie. Um, I think, yeah, what. My friend Sam Rose loves it. Um, Jane loves it. Um, who else? One of my cousin Sophia's friends says, you know, it's a good movie. Uh, there's a handful of people I met who loves this movie. Um, I don't know who else. Yeah, I don't know who else. And just to let you know, Mr. A. Crazy, if you're watching, I respect your opinion on Trolls. If you're not a fan of it as much, if you thought it was alright, then I respect your opinion, Mr. A. Crazy. I respect your opinion. Um, if you hate this movie, Matthew Davis, then I respect your opinion as well, Matthew Davis. I really love this movie. It's a really cute movie. Poppy's my favorite character. She's so cute. I actually do own some of the toys of it. This is very awesome. And actually, Shuck One, I do own the CD of um, Shuck One. So I forgot to mention that. The trolls from the 3D animation, I do own most of the CDs of them. So I forgot to mention that. You got, you got this disc with Poppy on it. And the second disc is where green alien girl named Gayla sex. Oh, it's just one of those sex scenes I love to watch. Let's not talk about it. It's just so so hot to watch with sexual stuff. Uh, let's not talk about it. It's a long story. But anyways, back to the movie. Um. I love the songs in it. I love True Colors. I think True Colors is like my favorite song in the movie. But I have so many other favorite songs too. But I, I'm i always a fan of this movie. The, be the second best DreamX film. Oh my gosh. It was an awesome movie. Love this movie. I'll always love it. No matter what. Next is a holiday classic is Charles Holiday. Also stars Andy Kendrick and Justin Timberlake. Appears it to be Marion Bo oh, Bright. Hmm, can't read. It's a classic Christmas special, which I first saw it on DVD and I've seen it a couple times. Spine. The back. 
Look at all these bonus features over there. This came out next. And I actually do love this special. It's a nice special. Very nice. Probably my favorite DreamWorks Christmas special. Blue disc. I do got I, I did I got this for Christmas back in 2017. So yeah, I did got this for Christmas in 2017. But yeah, I do love it so much. It's a very cute special. I totally recommend it. Next is the greatest sequel. Is Trolls World Tour Blu ray 3D plus Blu ray Dance Party Edition. Two discs set there. I did see this in the theaters at Reading Cinemas with my um, sister Sophia. Before I saw it in theaters, I saw it on the laptop on the full movie online. And then I saw it in the theaters. And I do love the sequel. It is a great sequel. So worth your time. I'd like to see a Trolls 3. That will be awesome. I want to see Trolls 3. Spine. The back. This pack includes Blu-ray 3D. Plus Blu-ray on two discs. With, uh, bonus features. Includes Dan Party mode. Learn dance moves. Sing along. Enjoy some and more. Plus. A, an exclusive original. Short. Tiny Diamond. Goes back to school. Yeah, yeah, there you go. And I do, and I, oh, I also got this for Christmas back in, uh, what was it? 2020, that's right, that's right. I got this back in 2020 for Christmas. Uh, but yeah, just an awesome sequel. One of the few good sequels. Got blue discs again. Unfortunately, I cannot watch the Blu-ray 3D because I don't have a 3D TV and I don't have the um Blu-ray 3D player yet. I don't have that. Wherever I want to watch this movie, I watch it on the regular Blu-ray. Oh, hold on. Let me close it. One second, one second. Won't let me close. But yeah, Charles World Tour is an awesome sequel. And I gotta say one thing. With those two TV shows, the hand-drawn ones, on Netflix it is called The Big Goes On. Um... On stand was called is that Trolls Topia something like that. These two um, TV shows of hand drawns. I gotta say this one thing. The next part I'm gonna yell, but please don't be disturbed if you're yell if you've been yelled. But yeah, these two TV shows, these two TV shows sucks. Terrible. Oh, I can't stand it. Stay away from it. Yeah, just watch the 3D animation ones. With Anna Kendrick and Justin Timberlake. Those are more fun. Let's move on. And next we have... One of my favorites too. Madagascar. From the studio that brought you Shrek. This is like a weird YouTube cover from 2014 or 2015. We should cover for it. Um, it stars Ben Stiller, Chris Rock, uh, David Schrimmer, Jada Picker Smith, and Joshua Bauer Cohen. So yeah, 
I used to watch this movie. I still love watching the movie. This is based off my YouTube channel. Spine. And the back. Funny and innovative Paul Pace of Sunday of a moving hire that can't read. I like to move it, move it. Music video. Special features. More than... Uh, 100 things to do. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. We like to move it. I like to move it, move it. My friend, um, Jackson G. Really, 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 really loves this movie. He was so excessive of this movie. And I have a fun fact. The name The Return of the Fusa comes from my friend Jackson G. We were talking about a sequel. We were like, Madagascar 4, The Return of the Fusa. He, my friend Jackson G says that. Madagascar 4, The Return of the Fusa. And I was like, thinking of my YouTube channel's name for a minute. Like, what should I name my channel? And I was like, oh, I remember what he says. Well, like, why not I name my channel The Return of the Fusa? So I did. <laughs> and this me, The Fusa is in it. He was so excessive with The Fusa. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excessive with The Fusa as well. So I just named my channel The Return of the Fusa. <laughs> I bet you know like what's a fusa? <laughs> if you don't know what the fusa is, uh, you need to watch this movie. Oh my gosh, the fusa! We've been the duck, but the green fusa, <laughs> fusa. All right, here's the disc. We got Mr. Alex. We got Mr. Alex. <laughs> I want to say it one more time. Wake up, Mr. Alex. Wake up, Mr. Alex. Rise and shiny. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Alex. Wake up, Alex. <gasps> you suck your fat? Ah! <laughs> awesome movie. I love this movie so much. <laughs> Next, we have a sequel. Madagascar escaped to Africa. Fun for the whole family. The Australian. It is a nice sequel, but I prefer the first one. But it's still a nice sequel to watch. It's fine. And there's the back. Unfortunately, it's so hard to see the critic review. Let me read. Funnier and more advice than the original. That was the week of Australian. This sequel is better than the original. Son of Heard. Tricks all the right boxes and tricks all the right funny bones. The Sunday Times. Yeah, sorry guys. It's just hard to read far away. Bad Kitty. <laughs> Very funny. It's actually a funny sequel. You got the disc for it. And I actually do love the sequel, actually. It is a great sequel. One of those young moments of memories. Very great sequel. The thing is, if Madagascar 3, Eunice Must Wanted, um, I think Madagascar 3, Eunice Must Wanted is okay. I mean, I don't like it that much. I don't think it's not that bad, but some people think it's the best Madagascar film. I have to disagree. There were a couple problems I have. I think this movie was overplayed at school. Like, it's, I don't know, it's kind of overplayed when you think about it. 
I think I enjoyed the Penguins of Madagascar, the TV show from Nickelodeon, way more than this, but still. Next is um, a movie that nobody talks about, is The Boss Baby, um, special edition, Blu-ray plus digital HD, cookies are for closers, it stars, um, Alec Rickman, oh, Alec Baldwin, I think, is, yeah, uh, you know, I actually do love this movie, this movie also stars Tommy Maguire, but yeah, I actually do love this movie, I know a lot of people, there's a spine, in the back, anyways, I was what I'm saying, I know a lot of people don't like this movie, but I love this movie, four star, laugh out loud comedy for all ages, okay, yeah. Um, um, I was originally going to see this in theaters, but it turned out I went and saw a different movie. I saw the Lego Batman movie instead. But I did watch this movie on, on my iPad on Full Movie Online. I do love this movie, but it wasn't as good as Shrek. But, you know, but I still love this movie. You got the disc for it. I did not care about the TV show, The Boss Baby, Back in Business on Netflix. I didn't care about it. It's not that good of a show. It's boring. I haven't seen the sequel. What was it? The Boss Baby Family Business, I think it was called. I haven't seen the sequel. I might check it out, but according to the reviews... I heard not so great things about it. I heard the sequel was so bad. It was like not necessary. I mean, to me, it does not look that good from the trailers. I don't know. I bet this movie is going to suck. The sequel, that is. I think they shouldn't have kept one movie. Right there. Just one movie. Maybe I'll stick it to this movie. Who knows? But The Boss Baby is still a cute movie. It's a nice movie. I do love The Boss Baby. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Let's move on. Next is... A lot of people's childhood memories is... One of my favorite I owned is Over the Hedge. Yeah, it is Hammy on it. Really love Over the Hedge. Stars Bruce Willis, Steve Carell, Game of Shining, and um, Wanda Sykes. That's right. Really love this movie. One of my favorites. Um, he's the... Uh, it's so hard to see. Hard uh, focus. Spine. I don't know if you could see it while... Yeah, you can probably see it. It's fine. Back. Five stars. Marvelous Bubbles with Cookies. Weekly and Metemi Sunday. Hell of the Sun. So yeah, it is actually an awesome movie. I'm glad I chose this cover because Hammy is like my favorite character. Uh, I'm, I'm going to quote some lines for a minute. This is one of the lines. Here we go. These guys are leave to eat. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The human mouth is called a pirate hole. The human being is called a couch potato. That is a device of selling food. That is a voicemail of food. That is a... And humans bring the food. Keep the food. They drive the food. They wear the food. That keeps the food hot. That keeps the food cold. That, I don't know what that is. Um, what do you know? Food, food, food. <laughs> White disc, unfortunately. But yeah, Over the Hedge is an awesome movie. Especially love the songs in it. With Heist, love the song. Love this movie as well. You know, the thing is, oh shit, fuck.
God dang it. One sec. Oh, hold on. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, sorry guys. Let's move on. Next is that uh, these people needs to they need to stop on hating on the film. I am sick and tired of haters, but I love this movie. It's um Shark Tale. I love Shark Tale. So as Will Smith, um Angelina Jolie, um no, no, did I say Angelina Jolie? No, no, I must say Renee Zellweger. I don't know if I say Angelina Jolie. I don't know. Rob De Niro, Jack Black, and Marcia Sorsese. The previews on there, it has Madagascar trailer. Then it has Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit sneak peek. I know, and I know Madagascar has the um, Over the Hedge sneak peek. And it has Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit trailer. Um, sorry I forgot to mention that, but still. Anyway, this is a spine. Oh yeah, it says the same thing. From the studio that bought you Shrek. Spine. In the back. All three of these, like, from Shrek 1, Madagascar 1, and Shark Tale. I got this at the same time at JB High Five. Anyways, the back. Kids will love it. Adults will enjoy it. And parents should app it. I plan it. It's an extending, an instic uh, classic, Sunday Times Mers. It's hard not to fall hook live and sugar for this cute and colorful fish fast TV week. Club Oscar, it occurs exclusively for the DVD, plus fantastic special features. Hmm. Um, I actually do love this movie. I know a lot of people say it's a rip-off to Finding Nemo. Between this and Finding Nemo, I prefer Finding Nemo. But Shark Tale is still great. Is disc. And I do love the song Car Wash in it. And, you know, I love Shark Tale. Shark Tale is a great movie. If you don't like Shark Tale, then F you. <laughs> yeah, and again, I have to respect people's opinions. Because I have to respect people's opinions. Yeah, I have to respect people's opinions on movies. We don't have the same opinions, but still. Let's keep moving on. Next is an Alabo. Uh, yeah. Turbo. Sam Rose would say Alabo Turbo. It is. I love Turbo as well. Turbo's awesome. Stay away from the TV show Turbo Fast. Turbo Fast is dumb. But this is a better one to watch. Love Turbo. I first watched this on the bootleg DVD. And now I own the real DVD. <laughs> Let me quote this line. Now I'm going to destroy my stupid bootleg of Turbo. Because I have an actual copy now. You see this? I got an actual copy. I'm happy to have this. I destroyed a bootleg DVD. Now I got this. I don't need a bootleg to tell me what to watch. Spine. In the back. Fast and Funny. Low curves of New York Post. It stars Ryan Reynolds and Samuel Jackson. Every time I watch this movie, um, it always wants me to eat tacos for some reason. I love tacos so much. You're supposed to be out there styling tacos, not raising snails. First thing in the morning, go sell some tacos. Every time I watch this movie with taco scenes, I always want to eat tacos. It always wants me to make eat tacos. 
Oh, man, I love tacos so much. Oh, I love that movie. The spine. And I mean the disc, sorry. I liked Ryan Reynolds in this movie. Very awesome movie. Love Turbo. And his snail was so cute. I don't care what anyone says. Usually I'm not too crazy on snails, but I find snails cute in this movie. All of my favorite DreamWorks insects movies. Do I like ants? Yes, I do like ants. Ants is a good movie. Especially for the first DreamWorks film. I do like ants. Let's move on. Next we have... Chicken Run. Now, I love Chicken Run. It's from Art Men. I love Chicken Run. It's, it stars Mel Gibson. And, yeah, I love Chicken Run. For some reason, some people don't like this movie for some reason. I'm not sure why some people don't like this movie. People, if you're watching, why you don't like Chicken Run? Why don't you like it? I love Chicken Run. Why don't you like this movie? Come on, man. It's awesome. Got the spine. In the back. Hours of Fun or on one DVD. I actually did watch this movie quite a bit when I was little. And I quite liked it when I was little. And I do love this movie. Got the disc. For some reason, I don't know why it's PG. Since this movie is rated G. Yeah, you can see here. But that's okay. I don't want to be a pie. I don't like bread. Oh man, this movie is like a fantastic movie. And I do love this movie. I'm sort of looking for this sequel. Kind of. We'll see how I feel about the sequel. But yeah, you know, Chicken Run's an awesome movie. I totally recommend it if you, if you haven't seen it yet. Next is um this Amazing Trilogies. Next we have... Kung Fu Panda, Jack Black, awesomest movie ever, Row. And, you know, I, I, I really loved this movie. I loved the Kung Fu Panda films. They're awesome films. Spine. Oh, I don't know if you could. It's hard to see sometimes. Spine. Uh, you can't see. Spine in the back. Secret Invents. I can't see the critic view. It says gorgeous to behind Kung Fu Panda tricks all the boxes of popular family entertainment, the Australian. I actually do love this movie. I like this movie way more than How to Train Your Dragon. To be honest, I don't like How to Train Your Dragon. I was going to like the film when I saw it, but then I was like, nah, I don't like How to Train Your Dragon anymore. I'm not into How to Train Your Dragon films that much. Here's the disc. I know, I know you're going to be upset to me, like, well, how could you not like How to Train Your Dragon? I don't know, I wasn't a fan of my How to Train Your Dragon, I don't know, I wasn't a fan of it. But yeah. Coming Panda is an awesome movie. Three left to go. Um, next we have Come Food Panda Two. Jack Black, four star. Um, I can't read. Empire. Not a great sequel. It's so hard to focus sometimes. Spine. 
Then you got the back. Uh, it doesn't want to stand. Hilarious and full of heart. Um, can't read, sorry. Something of Wikileaks TV. More awesomeness. Blu-ray includes extras. Hmm. But yeah. I don't know if you can see his spine very well. But yeah. I, um, I do love the sequel. It is actually a great sequel. You got the disc for it. Ah, shit. I do love the sequel. Ah. Yeah, I'm, I, I apologize. All three of the Comfort Panda films, I got this for Christmas back in probably. Wasn't 2000. No, 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 no. It was 2018, I think. I think it was like 2018 for Christmas. One. Next is, um, look at this. Ah, oh, it's falling down. Next is Kung Fu Panda 3. Awesome edition. Blu-ray plus digital HD. Another nice sequel to the franchise. Spine. The back. The best Kung Fu Panda movie yet. Um, Peter out of a dance. Over one hour of awesome extras. So yeah. It was a nice ending to the series. I haven't seen the TV show yet. Legend of Zol, Awesomeness on Nickelodeon. I haven't seen that yet. But it looks pretty fun. I might watch it one day. Who knows? You got the disc for it. So yeah, I do love this um, sequels. I saw I first saw the some of the Comfort Panda films on Netflix, but yeah, I do love the Comfort Panda films. Ah, come on. The last um see the, the last um movie I'm gonna show you is Home Party Edition. Um it stars the guy from the Big Bang Theory in the movie. Anyways, got the spine the back, heartwarming and hilarious. Party edition extras. And I actually do um love this movie. I like this way more than Inside Out. I think Inside Out's okay and overrated. I mean I do like it for a little bit, but I find this overrated. I'll tell you in another story, but in another video, but I think Home is a much better film than Inside Out. Anyways, you got the disc. It says Party Edition on it. Home is a great movie. I do love Home. Get it? Home. <laughs> sorry, let me just... I'm very sorry, guys. Uh, oh yeah, the um, I left me something. It's okay. So I just want to. That's it, guys. That's all I'm going to show you right now. If you have any questions about something we do with DreamWorks films, if you have any questions, put it in the comments. And thanks for watching.